Today, joint research efforts with Japan in science and technology are gathering much attention among developing countries. SATREPS, Science and Technology Research Partnership for Sustainable Development. Research focuses on issues that cannot be resolved by a single country or region. Research covers five fields, global scale environmental issues, low carbon society and energy, bioresources, disaster prevention and mitigation, and infectious disease control. SATREP works to enhance science and technology in Japan and among developing countries and promotes international joint research partnerships aimed at resolving global issues. To continue moving research forward and achieve significant results, it is essential that Japan work with partner countries through joint research to put structures in place, including enhancing research environments and developing human resources. To date, more than 100 projects in 43 countries have been advanced since 2008. Here are just a few of them. Global Scale Environmental Issues Work in this field aims to resolve environmental and energy problems facing us on a global scale, including climate change, population increases, urban concentration of population, and expanded production and consumption. The balance between resource development and environmental preservation is important. In Serbia, we're trying to advance a new model for sustainable mine development in a way that is friendly to people and to the natural environment. We are ready to conduct research under surface. Our research is focused on developing a solvent treatment that can convert the vast amounts of rice straw and other biomass produced in Thailand into carbon fiber and new types of biofuels. In partnership with local researchers, Satrep's project in Palau is conducting research aimed at establishing a global standard for balancing sustainable management of coral reef and island ecosystems with economic activities. Sixteen permanent sites have been established where dive surveys are being conducted to reveal changes in coral fish communities, as well as in various marine fauna. In Argentina and Chile, the atmospheric environment can change in a short time due to rapid onslaughts of volcanic ash and the sudden passing over of ozone holes. By putting in place a monitoring network and data distribution system, we hope to build a secure society that is more adaptable to abrupt environmental changes. Low carbon society and energy. As population increases and economic development continue on a global scale, Achieving a low carbon society is an important part of the pursuit of sustainable growth. The expectation is that the use of renewable energy and new types of energy and cleaner, more efficient use of fossil fuels will help reduce greenhouse gases. I'm Toshifumi Matsuoka of Kyoto University. As the Earth is faced with global warming, we are working with universities and oil companies in Indonesia to solve this global scale issue by advancing research in carbon capture and storage, a safe technology for injecting CO2, a greenhouse gas, deep underground. When completed, this technology could find wide use around the world. Our main pilot plant is a system to treat palm oil mill effluent for yielding fuels and value-added products. We will challenge ourselves to produce more valuable materials used for chemicals, medicines and plastics with waste energy from the palm oil industry. 
This project in Vietnam is being conducted to research measures for mitigation of climate change. Everyone here is working on this together. The project is focused on finding ways to make clean biofuels from a variety of oils and then use glycerin, a byproduct of this process, to power fuel cells and generate electricity. Coordinated efforts in biomass energy are moving forward in four regions. Let's meet three others who represent this research. I'm Kim Yakashi. We grow Jatropha, a source of biofuel on cold, arid land in Africa. I'm Kenji Imo. I study Jatropha biofuel in Mozambique. I'm Kenji Asami. I work in Thailand researching high-quality biodiesels. Let's develop biomass energy together. Bioresources. The ongoing production of bioresources is threatened by population increases and climate change on a global scale. SETREPS is working to offer strategies for the sustainable production and use of bioresources, including food, animal feed, fibers, and energy sources. I'm Kazuhiro Kikuchi, and I'm in charge of a project with Vietnamese native pigs. Today, we're in Mu Can Chai, 400 kilometers northwest of Hanoi, about four hours by car. Our objective today is to obtain DNA samples and study the characteristics of miniature pigs. We often travel around farms collecting data like this. We are creating a world storehouse of food in Southeast Asia using world-class aquaculture technology refined in Japan for more than 50 years. We aim to build a success model in Thailand, which can serve as a base for contributing to diverse, sustainable aquaculture. I'm Shigeru Araki of Kyoto University. We just now finished an international symposium. The goal of the FOSAS project in Cameroon is to protect forests through encouraging the use of non-timber forest products and develop agriculture by promoting the extension of improved varieties of cassava. Our research focuses on the primary causes of low rice productivity in Africa identified through our previous studies, including drought, low soil fertility, salinity, cold weather damage, and rice blast disease. We characterize the environmental factors related to these causes in each rice growing region and propose an optimal combination of rice varieties and cultivation techniques to enhance productivity. Disaster prevention and mitigation. As a world leader in the field of disaster prevention and mitigation, Japan is applying its store of knowledge to disasters in developing countries. At the same time, we are working to further advance earthquake and tsunami early warning systems and more highly accurate weather predictions in response to expectations at home. Our project involved predicting volcanic disasters through the use of geological studies, volcano monitoring, and simulations. By integrating these studies and introducing a system to enable swift decision-making regarding evacuations and other issues, we hope to contribute to mitigating the damage caused by volcanoes in Indonesia. Each year in Bangladesh, storm surge and river flooding cause loss of life and property. People who have lost their land and their homes end up living in even more dangerous places, where they then suffer from further disasters, falling into a downward spiral. We conduct research and development in disaster prevention and mitigation as a means of breaking this spiral of disaster and poverty. Our goal is to study the occurrence mechanism of earthquakes and reduce earthquake tsunami damages in the Marmara Sea region. Specifically, we propose earthquake scenarios and estimated damage levels through observations and simulation research. We also aim to contribute to disaster prevention education by creating educational materials in Turkey. Through cooperation between Chile and Japan, which have both suffered repeated tsunami disasters, we are conducting research and development to prevent the loss of lives and minimize the loss of properties. 
The SATREPS program is a collaboration between JST, which provides research support to research institutions in Japan, and AMED, which provides research support in the field of medicine. Together, they work with JICA, which offers technical cooperation to developing countries. Joint research projects with partner countries are strongly encouraged through competitive research funding from JST and AMAD. And the official development assistance provided by JICA. Enhancing international science and technology cooperation between Japan and developing countries. Acquiring new knowledge and technology that leads to the resolution of global issues and the advance of science and technology. And through this process, creating innovation. And through capacity development, enhancing research and development capabilities and infrastructure, enabling developing countries to continue addressing those issues on their own. As we work to fulfill these three goals, we give our results back to society in the form of research outcomes. Taizo Yakushiji, the program director of Satraps, had this to say about its establishment. What is important with SATREPS projects is to work in cooperation with young researchers on site. This requires that the researchers both in Japan and in the partner countries can work internationally and are truly globalized. Conducting this kind of research builds a closer research community and more globalized researchers on both sides. These researchers will develop networks in their respective fields and on the ground where international research is conducted. Seen from the viewpoint of Japanese diplomacy, this networking greatly expands Japan's international reach and, in turn, it will significantly increase support for Japan on the international stage. We at Satreps will continue supporting the creation of new value in science and technology, generated by strong ties of trust between Japan and developing countries as they work together to address issues on a global scale.